probably already know this, but Next.js is essentially a backend framework. This is why on top of the React code that you write, you can create APIs with new server actions and you can write server code and it would run on the server. So congratulations, if you build on top of Next.js, you're a backend developer. All jokes aside though, a lot of people being bullish on Next.js as a framework have decided to build all their functionality of their application on Next.js. And what I mean by this is their all their APIs, all their payment stuff, their web hooks, uh, the React code, the stuff that's shown on the front end, connection to the database, all that type of stuff. And I am sort of not for this. And here's the reason why. If you're building an application that you want users to use, a production application, there are certain things that you have to consider. And I'll be honest, I'm pro having a server, a separate server, separate from your Next.js. Because here's the reason why. You're going to have, let's draw an arrow here, users access the site, right? Because your front end um, will be built on Next.js. So you have users accessing the site. You're going to have traffic and all that type of stuff. And then there's going to be constant communication between the user and your Next.js app. But here's the thing. When you start to have payments or you have webhooks, right? Webhooks being endpoints that external services fire to so that you can store or do something with that information. Let me just give you an actual practical example of an application uh, I'm working on right now. So I have a Next.js app, right? The user communicates with Next.js, but I have a separate server. I actually have two servers. So server number one deals with payments, right? And here's the interesting part. I know I drew this arrow here, but Next.js actually, my Next.js app doesn't actually communicate with this server. This server solely communicates with Stripe. So I have a Stripe account and there, the server is a webhook server. And all it does is every time someone makes a, a user makes a payment on the Next.js site, a Stripe fires a webhook and this server then stores that information into a database. Let me draw this right here and we call this a database. So my payment logic is completely separated from what my users have access to. And here's the reason why. I was a part of a startup not too long ago that we had a Next.js app, you know, all the payments, everything was on Next.js, all the APIs. And then one day we got DDoSed we got DDoS really, really bad. And because we got DDoS, the site went down. So the front end, you people couldn't access it. But here's the thing. We were using a payment solution that would fire to our Next.js webhooks. The APIs, the webhook APIs were on Next.js. And because the site went down, guess what? Those webhooks went down too. So people were making payments and we weren't registering them on the database, which is a nightmare. You do not want to experience that. So from that experience, it might seem overkill, but every time I have some sort of payments going on, I will have a separate server that uh, Stripe fires uh, data to a webhook um, and all the logic, whether it be um, you know a subscription or a credit-based system, whatever it is, one-time payments, all my logic to manage that and to assign roles in the database will be done on this server. Now, another reason why you might want a separate server is if you're doing something like WebSockets or polling, or you have some sort of workers going on, right? Like Next.js actually times you out if a certain request takes too long. So like if you're doing some sort of computational thing on your Next.js app that takes longer than a, a couple seconds, they will actually time you out. And this is one of those reasons why you would want a separate server. So nonetheless, I'm a big Next.js fanboy. I love Next.js. It's my go-to uh project tool anytime I'm kickstarting a project, even as simple as a blog, the SEO functionality is amazing. So I am pro Next.js, but I would concur and say to you that if you're building a full stack, um, a full production application that you want users to use, there are certain things that you would want uh, on a separate server, payments being one of them, web sockets, or any sort of logic that you just don't want on your Next.js app should be on a separate server. So in terms of this application, um, I have payments on a separate server and Next.js has no access to the server. Next.js has access 
to the database. But here's the thing, because Next.js is essentially a backend framework, it's not even the client side that has access to the DB, it's the server side. So I have server actions that communicate with my database that can read. So payments get handled between Stripe and the server and the database, and then whatever changes are made, the Next.js application from the server side just reads the database. So super, okay, I don't wanna say it's simple, but it makes sense, especially if you're building an application that you want to scale, that you want to grow. Maybe if you wanna be scruffy and just get started right away, you put everything on Next.js, but um, I have PTSD from the time uh, a website got DDoS that I was helping build and our payment infrastructure went down with it. So just a short little sweet infrastructure video. Let me know if you enjoy these type of videos. I'm cooking up some more. And thank you so much for all the love, the likes, the comments, the subscribing. Keep doing that. Let me know what videos you want to see on the channel and I will see you in the next video. Peace.